Thank you. Uh, Jonathan, we see you very often live on TV. For once, we are going to see him alive. It's, it's really nice to have you here, and we are going to start perhaps by what you are doing. Most today is probably following the US election. Mm -hmm. uh, the US elections have an impact on all of us. The mathematics are very clear. In the last hundred years, uh, every president who sought re-election has been re-elected except for four. Barack Obama leads Mitt Romney, if Romney is the candidate uh, that the uh, Republicans choose. He leads uh, Rick Santorum, who's the only other real potential choice, but not a likely one, by an even greater margin. So Barack Obama is already ahead right now because of historical patterns and because of what we're seeing in the latest polls. Uh, if you had to bet money, I would bet money on it. On Obama. On Obama, yeah. You know, there's a, uh, an expression in English that Democrats fall in love with their candidates and Republicans fall in line behind their candidates. And what's line. happening this time, much to our surprise, is that they are not falling in line. So we see Mitt Romney, who's the candidate of the traditional Republican uh, Party establishment, faced with uh, Rick Santorum, who represents social conservatives who are not willing to accept the Republican Party establishment's choice, and Newt Gingrich, who's trying to represent also um, a smaller government view of Republican policies. In terms of, of the presidency, well, the Republicans, they kind of have to try, right? Uh, yeah. and, and more than that, they looked like they were going to win this one. What is happening is that the economy is getting better. Unemployment is going down. The stock market is going up, which means most people's pensions funds are looking better. And by every measure of economic confidence, people feel better than they did before. Something like 49% of Americans blame the state of America's economy on George Bush and the Republican Party. And that's the argument that the Obama people are making. Uh, the problem is, it wasn't our fault, and it would have been a lot worse without us is a terrible bumper sticker slogan. It's not a very, <laughs> you know, it's something your child would tell you. I didn't do that. Both parties are having trouble framing their message. The, the, the Romney people are framing it in terms of economic management while the economy gets better. And the Obama people are having even bigger trouble, I think. Television has become more powerful than the political parties, I think, right now. The Republican Party, as an institution, is virtually powerless to control the, 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 uh, the result of the primaries. What is driving all of this is television. There have been more Republican debates this year than we've, I've ever seen. What those did is they gave all the major candidates essentially equal footing. Rick Santorum, who is considered an unlikely candidate with very little organization and no money, did so well, convinced so many Americans by the force of his arguments, that his campaign picked up speed for free. And Newt Gingrich kept doing really well at the debates. And Rick Perry, governor of Texas, who had access to boatloads of money, did miserably at the debates. All the candidates on equal footing got boatloads of free airtime, and as a result, the campaign changed dramatically. Politics in the United States used to be a social process or a social experience. You went to a town hall, you went to a public meeting, you went to a speech. It became a television experience, which is what it is now. It is turning into an internet experience. That's my bold prediction, and the Obama people are leading the way. The, the biggest uh, foreign policy questions facing uh, the campaign that have been brought up by the Republicans so far is whether the United States has abandoned the people it should be with in Syria and in other countries that uh, in the Arab Spring fighting for, for their rights. The Obama administration argued against that kind of foreign policy. He came in suggesting foreign policy in the United States should be much more uh, cautious, much less ambitious. Uh, I don't think it's going to change. And I think, for example, people who are really hoping for American intervention in, in the Arab Spring will continue to be disappointed because he isn't going there. Russia is emer it's an emerging democracy. Was it a real election? Yes, it was a real election. Was it a fair election? No. But it was a real election. Uh, when you think about what that country has been through in the last 75 years, the idea of a single strong leader really appeals to them for very clear reasons. They want, they crave stability. I don't think that's a, a fraudulent outcome. President Obama is going to campaign. Who is he going to take as a vice president? Joe Biden. No, there's a lot of rumors about Hillary Clinton. She has said in advance <laughs> that she was going to resign as Secretary of State after President Obama was re-elected. She expects he'll be re-elected. And that positions her brilliantly yeah. to run for the presidency because she will be out of office. Nobody will blame her okay. for anything that happened in the last four years. So four she years. could come back and campaign against Joe Biden? It, it, you could, yeah. It could well happen. Wow, exciting. When you're a journalist, you learn very early, and I learned it very early, you talk to someone for 20 minutes and you do a story about the single dumbest thing they had to say. And that's the way it works. 
And that's what people follow Rick Santorum around for and Newt Gingrich around for and Barack Obama is what stupid thing are they going to say or almost say that I can write a story about. So to be in that position, it's always a pleasure for me. And I, the people who have who've been leading me through interviews, I always say, what was the stupidest thing I said? Because that's what the story is going to be about tomorrow. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.